In this video, we're going to learn how to remove a row from a data frame in R. Start by loading in the empty cars data set. We're going to remove this third row. So to remove a row, you simply pass the index of the row you want to remove into the row position of your data frame indexer. That's these square brackets here. And in front of the comma is the row position. So we're passing three there and we're saying minus three. The minus says we want to remove it instead of select it. So this is removing the third row and it will return all the other rows. You can see that third row has been removed. You can also pass multiple rows at once. So here we're removing rows three, four, and five by passing in this vector to the row position. Um, and we have the minus there to make sure we're removing them. That has removed those rows. Now, if you have a, an index that's named like we do here, these car names are actually the row index names and not a column. If you have that, you can simply get the row names with row names of your data frame and say you want not equals whatever row you want to remove. So in this case, the third row was called this Datsun 710. So if we pass this in, that name into this construction, that will also remove the third row, but by using the name instead of the index. And another way to remove rows is by the value of a column. So here we're selecting all the column or all the rows with six cylinders, and then we're saying we want the rows that are not equal to six cylinders. That's what, what the exclamation point does. So this will select every row that doesn't have six cylinders. You can see the first few rows do. So once we run this, those rows should be gone. As we can see, we're left with rows with either four or eight cylinders. So that is four different ways of removing rows in R. All the code used in this video is available in the description below. If you found this video useful, drop a like. And if you're interested in more data science content, hit subscribe.